turn legal on just in case. Take one from your hand or deck, either special summon it or attach it to an Exima Saucer. Oh, he's a number monster. I double my attack. Yo, that's sick. No, no, no. Say it ain't so. No. No. Yo, that's wild. What's going on, YouTube? I hope you enjoyed that stream clip of my first time using Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon, the amazing new addition to Galaxy Eyes from the Legendary Duelist set Season 2. That is pretty much going to be the focus of the deck as this card buffs the deck quite a bit when being used as an accessory. For the most part, the deck will play the same as it always has. Going first, you want to set up some sort of defensive board with any combination of Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon, Photon Lord, and or Cyber Dragon Infinity. A new addition to the turn 1 board now is the old school Divine Dragon Knight Felgrin. The main use for Felgrin here is to detach Afterglow to give you another level 8 Photon Dragon from the deck for another rank 8 XC summon. No other rank 8s have a detach effect unless your opponent has a board or activates a monster effect from Photon Lord. So having this easy detach can be amazing for building up a strong board. Going second as you saw is where the real fun begins as Afterglow has a small little addition to his detach effect if it is in the battle phase. When detached during the battle phase all number XC monsters get their attack doubled for that phase and considering the deck we are using you can expect some dangerous attack points to hit the field. Prime Photon should be the prime target of this effect as he already gets an insane attack buff from his effect. If you do not have Photon Dragon as a material Afterglow can also attach it to Prime, as if you don't, battle damage is cut in half. With this, you should definitely go for this easy OTK whenever possible, as it is hard for anything to survive almost 11,000 attack points hitting them in the face. Moving on from the Afterglow hype, most of the deck remains the same. Galaxy Brave was cut thanks to Afterglow, and we already have to struggle with enough high level monsters in the deck as it is, so the space is tight. I'm running Pot of Desires like I used to, and personally, this feels better as this deck needs to get whatever it can to end the duel as quick as possible. If you don't want to run Desires, you can cut Galaxy Knight to 2 and add in something else, but I personally feel like every other Galaxy or Photon monster in the deck right now is mandatory at the copies you see at a minimum. It is tough to fit in hand traps or even side deck, but I did my best to throw in the standard Ash Blossom so we aren't completely useless in letting our opponent do what they want. The extra deck is mainly the same except for what I spoke about with Felgrand and a few other cards. Double A Zeus is always a good addition to exceed decks and this is no different, especially if you get disrupted at some point and need a safety plan. Star Liege Lord Galaxion is here as well because getting the Photon Dragon out is more important than ever. His name not including Galaxy or Photon did screw me over once or twice though. This would have been my Evil Swarm Exiton Night slot, otherwise as the board clear can be amazing if you're forced to go second against something scary. Soul Flare is still a good link monster to set up with a Photon Dragon in the hands to discard, and Photon Blast Dragon Protection Effect has saved me quite a few times, especially when equipped with Photon Orb. A neat combo I didn't try out was resummoning a Photon Dragon with Blast Dragon during the battle phase. It may be rare, but if you are forced to use Photon Dragon's Battle Banish Effect, you can instantly bring it back before another attack with Blast Dragon. Sadly, I wish I was more of a pro at this deck to know that before someone told me on stream. Full Armor Photon Dragon and Cypher Blade Dragon are still good targets to rank up into for any removal you may need after your opponent goes second against you. We are still waiting on Cypher EX Dragon to get released which is another dangerous XC rank up monster that will combo with Cypher Dragon but it's something we have to look forward to for now. On to the replay, all of these duels are short as you might expect as either you build a strong enough board to stop your opponent or your opponent's board isn't strong enough to stop you. In either situation, both cases should end in a vicious OTK and if your opponent can stop you from creating this situation, you probably lost. We're going to go second like we kind of want to here, but sometimes going first can be better with some of the decks floating around now. Having 2-3 to three disruptions with Photon Lord, Soul Flare, and possibly something else can be amazing, especially with the Galaxy Trans follow-up. Going up against Burning Abyss here, we have little to worry about as we luckily have Ash Blossom to stop Beatrice from getting the Farfamil. 
Photon Blast is an amazing rank 4 for the deck as aside from its special summon ability, it can also protect all of your monsters from targeting and destruction, which is great for leading up into your rank 8 summons. With Afterglow and Expedition in the hand, we have access to two rank 8 summons since Afterglow's detached effect allows you to summon another Photon Dragon from the deck. There's no need to save it for Prime Photon since there's only one monster to worry about, but if your opponent wants to leave something in attack mode, make sure to destroy them with the 11,000 attack point lead. Getting one of the many OTKs out of the way here, that's going to be the duel, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the replays. There are voice lines in this video now that Kite is officially in dueling, so I hope you enjoy those as well, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. ボタンサンクチュアリを発動ボタントークン2体を特殊召喚するモンスターをリンク召喚来いオービタルボタンオービタルサポートしろオービタル俺とハルトのためならいのちを投げ出すまほうカード死者蘇生を発動現れるギャ
来いオービタルボタンオービタル現れろ飛行竜ボトンブラストドラゴンエクシーズ召喚に成功したボトンブラストドラゴンの効果発動魔法カード発動ギャラクシーエクスペディションデッキからレベル5以上のフォトまたはギャラクシーモンスター1体を守備表示で特殊召喚するこれが俺のナンバーズギャラクシーアイスブライブフォトンドラゴンオーバーレイユニットを一つ使いブライブフォトンドラゴンの効果発動魔法カードフォトンサンクチュアリを発動フォトントークン2体を特殊召喚する手札から光属性モンスター1体を墓地へ送りこのカードを守備表示で特殊召喚するイデオギャラクシーソルジャーイデオギャラクシーナイトリリースなしで召喚されたギャラクシーナイトは効果を発動するモンスターをリンク召喚このカードは手札から守備表示で特殊召喚できる現れろギャラクシーアイスアフターグロードラゴンオーバーレイユニットとなっていたギャラクシーアイスアフターグロードラゴンの効果発動現れろナンバーズ90ギャラクシーアイスボタンロードだが俺に勝つことは諦めるんだな